And thank you. Now to the latest on NSA leaker Edward Snowden breaking his silence and lashing out at President Obama. He's still in limbo in a transit area at a Moscow airport and threatening to reveal more secrets. ABC's Pierre Thomas has more and joins us this morning from Washington. Good morning, Pierre. Good morning, Robin. That's right. We're hearing from Snowden for the first time since he fled Hong Kong, and he's engaging in a war of words with the U.S. From an undisclosed location inside the Moscow airport, Snowden, the accused leaker, launched a verbal barrage against the U.S. government, claiming it was denying him an international right to asylum. These are the old bad tools of political aggression, Snowden said in a statement. Their purpose is to frighten, not me, but those who would come after me. The U.S. has revoked Snowden's passport and believes he's a common criminal who doesn't deserve asylum but a trial, conviction, and jail. We reject the notion that this is some sort of political prosecution. Indeed, it's not. These are serious crimes. Snowden's statement was released by WikiLeaks, an organization that's made its mission publishing state secrets. WikiLeaks mastermind Julian Assange suggested to ABC News in an exclusive interview that Snowden was being made a political scapegoat by a country trying to hide illegal spying activity. The United States has been founded uh, largely on accepting political refugees from, from other countries and has prospered by it. Uh, Mr. Snowden uh, has that right. As for the Russians, President Vladimir Putin hinted there might be a way his country would grant Snowden asylum, saying, Snowden. There is one condition. He has to stop his work aimed at damaging our U.S. partners. Today we're hearing from Snowden that he has withdrawn his request for asylum in Russia. He may be running out of options. He's applied to 20 other countries. So far, no takers.